Hi everyone, Jos here for another video. In the field I came across a lot of bad designed suction lines. In this video we will examine suction line design and why it is more important than most people think. For the suction line design we have the following subjects. Why it is important? I tell you something about the pipes and also something about the fittings. But I start with the first one, why is it important? An incorrect suction line design can feel for your pump like this. <coughs> You're strangling your pump. A correct suction design will give you a very reliable pump and you will have a long mean time between failure. And also there's another important thing, that is the performance of your pump. Because your pump is tested according to the ISO 9906. And also in this standard there are some requirements about the piping of your pump. Piping design is that important that the Hydraulic Institute have a special paper for it called pump piping. The next item is about your pipe. I see a lot of pump installations where the suction line is like this. Maybe you do also. But if you want a happy pump, your suction line must be a long straight line. Only in that case your pump will perform according to the pump curve. Your suction line should be at least five times the diameter straight and it is five times dn and with dn the hydraulic institute means the nominal suction line diameter in this visualization we are talking about dns and that means the nominal diameter of your suction like you see here there are also fittings in your suction line and there are people who think the more fittings in the suction line, the better it is. And then you will get a suction line like this. The pump is situated here and all these fittings are situated in the suction line. There are also people who think that a suction line has to look nice. And they put in knees whenever they can. But there are also special made knees, handmade knees as sharp as possible like here in this visualization. The suction flange of the pump is here. A knee like this will harm the performance of your pump because it's essential that the medium can enter the impeller fluently. I have here, this is the impeller. And this is the medium. It's like shaking hands. If I shake hands like this, it is easy. But if I do it like this, it's very difficult for the impeller to get the medium in. Flow disturbances in the suction line of your pump will lead to a lower total head, but also a lower NPSH available. It will also reduce the lifetime of your impeller, your mechanical seal, and your bearings and therefore be sure that the suction line has a length of at least five times the diameter without any disturbances and also don't use a valve like this never use globe valves or diaphragm valves in a suction line whenever you design an insulation pay attention to the suction line design with that you will improve the reliability and the mean time between failure of your centrifugal pump. I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more about how to improve the reliability and mean time between failure of your pump, there is a course called Centrifugal Pump Sizing. If you need more information about this course and all our other courses, please visit our website. I hope you enjoyed this video and liked this video. And please, if you do, give it a thumbs up. 
and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you for the next video. See you next time. Bye.